Ev Williams is best known as one of the Twitter co-founders alongside Biz Stone, but he's also the person behind the popular online publishing platform Medium.com. Founded in 2012, Williams announced that Medium was a new place on the internet where people share ideas and stories that are longer than 140 characters and not just for friends, and was designed for little stories that make your day better and manifestos that change the world whilst it helps you find the right audience for whatever you have to say. The platform through its partner program enables its writers or content creators to be paid depending on how deeply the readers read their posts. If readers spend more time on your articles, you're paid more, thanks to the subscription fee of $5 a month. But the question that's often asked is, what is Medium? And everyone seems to have a slightly different answer. We use the term online publishing platform, which is what Wikipedia settled on. Medium is a blogging platform which combines articles from well-respected editors and paid writers and people just wanting to put their thoughts into writing. There's no specific focus with articles about anything and everything, and with very few adverts it creates a clean and unobstructed view of written media, something which is hard to come by today. They also have the luxury of diverting negative article feedback onto the writer, as the platform doesn't take accountability for what's being written, but taking praise when articles are lauded. On August the 14th, 2012, when Ev Williams launched Medium, he wrote, On Medium you can contribute often or just once in a blue moon, and without the commitment of a blog. And either way, you're publishing into a thriving, pulsing network, not a standalone website, which you alone are responsible for keeping alive. But others, such as Marco Arment, the lead developer and CTO of Tumblr since its inception in 2007 until 2010, thinks that those who publish on Medium rather than their own personal blog give up control not just on their hard work, but also on their personal brand. Similar to when you buy something from Amazon, you never really know where it's coming from. As far as other people are concerned, Medium is just a place where well-written articles are sometimes available. But what is their mission? Or why was it thought up in the first place? The goal of the platform is to optimise the time spent reading articles on the site, and is almost seen as the YouTube for blogging, where people can write about anything and grow a following using a well-built platform that pushes your posts out to a wider audience without needing SEO knowledge. But whilst Medium have created a simple and stylish platform, unlike YouTube, only a small fraction of people are actually paid. Medium does look the part though. With no advertising, it's easy to find what you want to read without being bombarded by ads blocking half the screen, like other well-known publications. Whilst this works for the reader, it shows why only a few people are paid. But the website is popular with even Jeff Bezos using the platform to reveal the National Enquirer's efforts to blackmail him in a one-off post which still enabled him to write his own version of the story. However, as the years have gone by, what was once considered to be game-changing in the blogging world, there's been significant decline with the platform, seeing popular publications such as Bill Simmons' The Ringer and Backchannel come and go, The Ringer moving to Vox Media before being bought by Spotify, and Backchannel, which left for Wired, has since been purchased by Condé Nast. Their reason stemmed from the fact that they felt Medium was no longer as focused on helping publications like ours profit which was cemented when Ev Williams confirmed in 2017 that Medium did not plan to use banner ads as part of their revenue model. The paywall that's been introduced now blocks many free users from the best content, creating a bad user experience. Imagine YouTube blocking off anyone with over 100,000 subscribers. You'd have very little left to watch. Despite the negatives, the user base has grown from 60 million readers in 2016 to 120 million today, and there's no doubt that many people enjoy what Medium has to offer. Some even suggest that their audio articles could enable everyday bloggers to launch their own podcast without the need for an expensive studio which would open the door to many amateur creators. The issue, however, is that people who understand SEO are now just using Medium to redistribute their work to a larger audience, gaining more exposure, which cheapens the Medium brand. Medium is now eight years old and has raised $132 million in venture funding, and it's still not profitable. But in an era where all the biggest companies seem to be making losses year over year, perhaps Medium stands a chance of succeeding in the future. Thanks for watching. <laughs>